welcome to Mickey's Tea, where I'll let you guys know what's tea and to let you guys know how my trip to Haiti in 2020 went. So I ask you guys to enjoy the video, like, share, and subscribe, okay? So that we can go ahead and let, you know, let, let the people know, you know, what is Haiti. So to be honest, I didn't go in the richest part of Haiti because I'm not rich. I'm just, you know, Haitian, so yes <laughs> i'm just haitian so yes guys um my my dad is from la Pointe, so i definitely went to la Pointe. i got to visit saint louis i got to visit port-au-prince because that's where i landed um i got to visit gonaive la bay um portale key um la coma jarabelle you know all you guys you guys already know but i'm my mom i was born in cabaret and in northwest so i had a really fun trip yes guys so i had a really really fun trip um i spent a lot of time in uh, you know um <laughs> what's called i spent a lot of time in port de pair i spent a lot of time in port de pair because between my mom and my dad place you have to go through port de pair so i was there a lot um i have a lot of family in haiti my mom and dad um they live in haiti full time so i was really excited to go see them like this was a blessing guys this was really a blessing my mom had a terrible accident um the end of last year and i was so happy to see her because i truly didn't know if i was going to get a chance to see her again so i'm really grateful for that so guys like share subscribe hope you guys enjoy the video thank you again this is us leaving the airport My sister was a little scared, so we held hands. Oh my gosh, here goes my country. I was so happy to finally see this. This was like a dream come true. I feel so blessed to be able to hit the land of Haiti after like 11 years, guys. This is the bus company that we were at. We went up these stairs like so many times to see when this food will be ready, but no. We were snacking on this snack all day, but it was so good. It was like freshly made plantain chips. That's my mom, y'all. My mother. So like I said, we was at the company by the name of Sun Souci. That was the name of the bus company we used. I felt really safe. They had the driver and like a security like on the bus with us as you guys can see that was an energy drink right there it's called a towel and it is very like well known i needed all the energies i could get because i wanted to capture every moment this is us leaving the capital as you can see it's very busy it's very busy there's a lot of traffic just like here in florida you know going south <laughs> going south um this right here was so beautiful guys this really shows that we can reunite again I know it's gonna take time but I have really high hopes in Haiti because I know what we're capable of okay this was the mashe the mashe um, again if you're from Florida you know we have swap shop and this was like swap shop but it was literally on the street and you basically go out and you go shop and Haitian is really set up on like a business mindset so pretty much every family in Haiti have a business okay so as you see we're leaving we're leaving from port de -Pet to Gonaive there's not really much hill but after Gonaive there's a lot of hill so it's like if you're going you know northwest where I'm from you you have to really know how to drive on hills okay so if you don't know how to drive on hills if you live in florida here and we have like flatlands there's no hill don't go rent no car in haiti okay or go with a haitian so that they'll be able to take you places um this is the water guys it was so beautiful oh my gosh the water just looks so nice as you can see our gas stations are mostly not named nationals and this is what I was talking about how if you live on the main street you know 
you have a business and like I said Haitian are really like wrapped around the business mindset and it's basically like you have to hustle the street in order to to have an income and stuff like that so everybody pretty much have a business my mom is a businesswoman she was on the phone the whole ride oh my gosh if you have a Haitian mother and you know they'd be on the phone she was on the phone the whole ride but she wasn't like saying zen or anything she wasn't giving no tea or anything she was just like you know taking care of business that's what she does she's a businesswoman and, and that's basically what she does she stays in communication all the time okay my mom has like two phone y'all so you know she got <laughs> she got like two phone so she has to stay in communication throughout the whole time but um like you can see they have like private hotels on the way um on the way there there are some beautiful 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 houses that they have like on the main street oh there they are there they are <laughs> so right by the water oh my gosh so nice so so nice um the trip was there was i feel like we could have made it earlier but again i'll the bus was late okay the first time the bus came when we was waiting for it um it came to like drop the people off and then it was like oh they have to go and get clean da -da 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 -da. and then it went to get clean you know the traffic and stuff the bus came way later but i am very very grateful that the trip went well because there is a place like on the way from port-au-prince to northwest that um, a lot of like kidnapping was going on and stuff like that and my mom was like that's why she was like we're gonna go high end because we need to make sure that you know you guys are secure da -da 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 -da, and stuff like that and um, it's like there's no security after a certain time so we was able to get through there like very smoothly which I am really grateful for um, as you can see there is a lot of mountains they're not hills they're mountains okay like literally mountains so <laughs> there's a lot of those in haiti and as you can see we have a lot of trees a lot of trees and driving on the road we saw a lot of projects you know was going on a lot of things was being built but you know haitian haiti you know it stays busy it stays busy it stays moving you got to keep moving so that's what Haiti do so as you guys can see at the airport I didn't really record much because I wanted to make sure that we got everything we needed it was really chaotic at the airport when we got to the Sansa Sea company the bus company we used the food wasn't ready so we were waiting there when we got to our stop in Gonaive the food wasn't ready there either because I guess all the things they had was already finished and a plate of food in Haiti is like $80 but when I went to Haiti a dollar American money was like $24 so it was basically like nothing here to us really so we waited there for the food um, a lot of people was mad because they didn't really have much of an option to choose from she was just saying go get the driver <laughs> We didn't really wear much masks in Haiti. Like I said, there's no corona in Haiti. I came back and I tested negative, okay? We got to port au -Pair around like nine o'clock. My brother came to pick us up and then we went to my dad house in La Pointe. So this is my dad house. I stayed there with my little sister, my brother, and um yeah the next morning it was time to go so i'll see you in my next video thank you again make sure you like share and subscribe